Welcome to the Pharma Voice Editor's Take video series, filmed live at the 2012 DIA Annual Meeting in Philadelphia, hosted by Taryn Grome, editor of Pharma Voice. In this session, Taryn meets with Steve Swanson, President, Imperial. Steve, welcome to the 2012 DIA Annual Conference Editor's Take video program. Thanks, Taryn. Welcome to Philadelphia. Steve, we're here at the DIA speaking with key industry insiders to get their view on what trends they are seeing impacting our industry. With Imperial's focus is in clinical trials. What are you seeing in that space? Well, that's a great question, Taryn. We're seeing two key trends, uh, the first of which is outsourcing, which we believe will continue, and the second of which is uh, globalization. Um, we think that those are uh, going to be key trends that will continue for a period of time. And why do you think those are the two key trends? Well, with outsourcing, um, although the trend has been in place for a period of time, we think that the model has generated a lot of economic advantage for our clients, but that those economics are no longer sufficient, and they're looking for both economics and efficiencies. With regard to uh, globalization, the increasing complexity of global trials has rendered some of the historic approaches to global fulfillment, in some cases, inadequate, if not obsolete. Why do you believe the historic approaches that you just touched on to sourcing and global supporting clinical trials are becoming inadequate? Well, that, that's another great question. It's obvious to us that the uh, economics have been achieved, but where uh, firms have uh, had their core competency, they've been able to deliver that excellence, and where they haven't, they've had to bundle service providers together. That method, uh, although effective from a cost standpoint, has not uh, done anything more than shield the clients from some of those inefficiencies, and uh, that's no longer enough. With the increasing requirements on global regulation, uh, VAT, duty, uh, tax compliance, uh, traditional models are being tested and our clients are frankly looking for more. What is Imperial doing to address these um, transitioning demands? Well, we believe Imperial is closing the gap, so to speak. Um, at this year's DIA, for example, we're rolling out a, a new family of companies. This family of companies uh, addresses the issue by being uh, one of the first, if not only, firms with such a level of specialization in a functional service provider model that's truly vertically integrated. Um, through a process of both organic growth and acquisition, we have put together three firms, DAC, Patient Recruitment Services, uh, Clinical Lingua Language Services, and Imperial Graphics in what we think is an extremely effective business model. Uh, we go beyond the inefficiencies of just hiding some of those bundled providers. Uh, in addition, we make sure that we're avoiding some of the issues associated with uh, dissimilar business issues and the lack of goal congruence among suppliers. Our model addresses those directly and we do provide what we believe is the vertical uh, control necessary with compatible business systems and congruent goals and uh, laser beam line of sight focus in the areas of patient recruitment. Um, language services and uh, global delivery of uh, high quality content materials. And so uh, at DIA we're sending that message and we're, uh, we're looking forward to people stopping by and talking to us a little bit about that. Well Steve, I want to wish you all great success because it sounds like you're on an exciting like trajectory. So. Well thank you very much. Well thanks for being with us. Additional editors take videos as well as podcasts, white papers, webinars, and more are available in the resources area at www.pharmavoice.com.